Oh, hello, and welcome to a very special edition of Concordia Theatre, where you and I will be traveling through these walls, time, and space. Mike, what are you doing? I'm filming a video, Brad. <laughs> this is boring. Uh, Nobody likes this stuff. What? They what? need pizzazz! Flash! Flare! Yeah, how, how do I get that? You come with me! Okay. Whoa! <laughs> Holy I God. know, I know. Thank you. But now we got the location, we need to change your wardrobe. Whoa. Thunderwear! Holy! What? Are you? Well, Mike, the rest is yours. All right. Concordia University College of Alberta was founded 93 years ago in 1921. Located in Edmonton, Alberta's provincial capital, this university is home to approximately 1,500 students and is just a stone's throw away from the North Saskatchewan River. We are standing right in front of Hole Academic Centre, named after Harry and Muriel Hole, built in 2007. This is the newest upgrade to Concordia University College. But let's not just stand out here, come and follow me and we'll go check it out. When you walk through the front doors of the whole academic center, you're going to find four things. The Welcome Center, the Bookstore, Student Life and Learning, and Student Roman Services. Let's go check these places out. Our first stop is the Welcome Center, and here we have our wonderful receptionist, Lance. How's it going, Lance? Oh, can't complain. Good. And when you do come in and you have questions, here is where you'll find your answers. Now let's head over to the Bookstore. At the bookstore, you're going to find many things, whether it's bus pass, parking pass, textbooks, school supplies, basically anything that is not related to your tuition or fees, you can find at the bookstore, much like the clothes that I am wearing. And now let's head over to Student Life and Learning. If you require extra supports, whether that's personal counseling, tutoring, or maybe you want to find out more information on our residents, and many more, you can do that here at Student Life and Learning. Now let's head over to Student Enrollment Services. The Student Enrollment Services area at Concordia is the hub of your academic experience, where you can access everything from admissions to student financial aid. And now let's head over to the Arnold Gubert Library. And here we are in the Arnold Goober Library, named after Arnold, who was Concordia's How longest- How many times do we have to tell you? It's not Goobert, it's Giebert. Giebert, our, our longest serving librarian. Yeah. yeah, he's pretty awesome, and and although he's not here anymore, the staff we have now are pretty awesome as well. We can help you with uh, your assignments, with finding articles, and give you a great place to study. We have a whole bunch of new rooms downstairs that you can book and study in, so in case you need some distraction-free time, you can come hang out at the library That's and cool. get your work done and get some help with pretty much anything you're working on. And I have to tell you that if, if you steal the picture of Arnold Giebert from the wall yet again, uh, we'll be speaking to the police about this whole picture stalking thing. I, it's kind of creepy. I thought I... I thought yeah, thought... kind of creepy. Now let's check out the cafeteria. Right behind me is the cafeteria where if you're hungry for a snack or a meal, you can come, relax, chill out, and escape some of those classes for a little bit. Now let's go check out a science lab. Concordia emphasizes intimate learning environments in classrooms and labs such as this chemistry lab. As you can see, this lab contains all the materials you need for a hands-on experience. Now that we've seen the science lab, let's go check out the arts department. And 
here we are at the music department of Concordia, where you could be trained in the instrument that you're studying, whether it's piano, guitar, violin, kazoo, or whistling. Come, let's check out the classroom. In this classroom, you would learn theory to help you play songs such as the chopsticks. But more importantly than that, you actually have an opportunity to get involved in the different productions that are on campus, whether it's through the choir or through one of our symphonic bands or even handbells. You have the opportunity to travel within the city in these groups or potentially internationally to places like Germany, Brazil, a lot of different places that we could go to if you're part of these groups. And now let's head over to the drama room. drama student at Concordia, you have plenty of opportunity to get involved in the productions while honing your skills in the classroom so that by the time you reach this stage, you'll be performing in front of these audiences. Now it's time for me to exit stage right and take you on a tagler. And this is Robert Tagler Student Center. This is a place for you to relax, to meet up with your Concordia BFFs, to grab something at the small concession stand, to play foosball, to play ping pong, to play air hockey, to sit on the risers. There's going to be club fair week, there's going to be career fairs, there's going to be music performance, and also one of my favorites, Thunderwear Fridays, where you deck out in all of Concordia colors and see if you can win a prize by the end of the year. And now for all you athletes, let's head over to the Ralph King Athletic Center. And this field is used for Concordia's soccer program where you'll be training and playing against other universities if you decide to join this team. But let's keep going. And here we are in front of Ralph King Athletic Center, home to Concordia's Thunder programs. Here's the Ralph King Athletic Center, home to Concordia's Thunder Sports programs, where you'll have the opportunity, if you wish, to join in any one of our teams. We also have here our fitness center, which is open throughout the year for you to access. As well, we also have our education faculty here. So if you're one of those to be teachers, you will be studying on the second floor of this building. Let's check out the gymnasium. This is where our badminton, basketball, and volleyball players will be playing. And whether you are playing or spectating, this is where you will be. Now we're gonna go check out the fitness facilities. All you need to work out in this fitness room is your ID card and a change of clothes, and all this equipment is at your disposal. Well hey, I've actually got a class, so why don't you come join me back at the main building? At Concordia University College of Alberta, there are three main programs, Bachelor of Arts, Science, or Management degrees. There's also two after-degree programs, as well as a number of graduate programs. As you can see behind me, we have intimate learning environments where you have an average class size of 30, where the professor knows you by name. Mike. Yes. What is the square root of four? I, I thought this was English class. It is. Now pay attention, please. Back to Chaucer, 1904. And here we are in front of Whole Academic Center once again. Before we end this video, I'd like to show you a quick tour of the grounds.
behind me is Aberhart Hall, which is a dormitory for our female students. If you would like more information on residence, please check out the link below. And here we are on the south side of Concordia's campus, right overlooking the River Valley. Right behind me is Guild Hall, which is the west wing of Concordia where all the big decisions get made, and also Schwerman Hall and Founders Hall, which is also the men's dorm. Schwerman and Founders being the original buildings of Concordia. This is now the end of the tour. Thank you for joining me. I really hope to see you around campus. See you later.